I recall a specific meeting where the person I was talking to had a smile frozen on their face most of the time. I ended up frustrated in the meeting because I felt like I was repeating myself or saying, well, not exactly to qualify way too many sentences. We left the meeting more or less where we started and that meant the meeting was a waste of their time. Hello and welcome to Callum Connects Micro Podcast. Our guest today is Katie Burkhart. Katie is the founder of Matter Pulse and the mastermind behind Matter Logic, the simple system for running a purpose-driven business. A hurdle I faced as an entrepreneur is nailing my story. From day one, everything made sense in my head. Typical entrepreneur, no? But when I went to explain what I did, why it mattered, and how I could help to somebody else, the results were not what I expected. It felt like we were speaking different languages. I recall a specific meeting where the person I was talking to had a smile frozen on their face most of the time. I ended up frustrated in the meeting because I felt like I was repeating myself or saying, well, not exactly to qualify way too many sentences. We left the meeting more or less where we started. And that meant the meeting was a waste of their time because I didn't move them or their company forward. And I really hated that because I knew what I could do for them would help them. This wall came up over and over and over again. So I decided that I needed to fix it and that the best way to do that was to go simpler and to use words and phrases my community would recognize so they could more easily relate to what I was saying. While we equate simple to easy, the act of simplifying something is actually a lot harder than it sounds. I decided to force myself to do the same work I asked my clients to do. I started by listening to the people I serve, particularly to clients that were already working with me and my team. Why did they come to us? What problem did they think they have? What did they value most about once we did once we got there? Then I refined a core strategy that included the story. I started by testing it on my own. I went on podcasts, I delivered talks, I set meetings with people I didn't know. It was hard because I'm a perfectionist. I didn't like going out there with something half-baked but I got comfortable with the reality that I had to test drive the story even though it wasn't quite ready. Based on what I learned, I revised it further. Lots of wordsmithing, tweaking here and there, but I still wasn't satisfied. It was better, but I wasn't nailing it. I wasn't getting that authentic, yes, I get it, I'm excited about it, I can't wait to get started. So I got some outside help because I wasn't sure what else to do. I started by sharing what seemed to be confusing for the listener, probably in far more detail and with far more frustration than they were expecting to get from me. And I'd also let them know where I'd get questions like, that's cool, explain what that means, which I determined was a really nice way of saying, I totally didn't understand whatever it was you just said. Working with someone forced me to break down what I wanted to communicate even further into pieces so small it was almost a challenge not to understand them. What was more important is that I now know the point of what I do and what I want to say, particularly as it relates to the people I'm trying to help. And I think we've finally created the simple human story that enables me to connect and be useful. At least that's what my most recent testing indicates. What I learned in this process was that even if you do all the right things, developing your story by yourself in your own bubble is next to impossible because you have limited perspective. It also can't be done without testing, which takes longer than you think, especially as an entrepreneur who wants everything to move faster. It also requires you to get comfortable with going out with your best shot, whatever state you're in. But there's nothing more important than your story because it's what starts everything else. So taking the time and going through the effort is 100% worth it. If you enjoyed this podcast and would like to find more inspiring information about entrepreneurs around the world doing incredible things, make your way to enterprisezone.cc.